Uh, another thing that's universal, farts, and we don't get to talk. We don't get to talk much about them, you know, and there's stuff we all know, which is fun to uh, have, you know, I was going to say to bring out, man, that would have been a... Subconscious, subconscious, always working on bad little jokes. I'm not responsible for them. But, uh, yes, farts. Now, everyone knows about a fart. I've often thought, wouldn't it be weird if a guy accidentally through his life had a perfect diet? The guy had never farted. He was 35. And then one day, boom. <laughs> oh, oh. Hey. Hey. The air is coming out of me. I don't want to be a balloon. Children have a better attitude toward farts. They're not yet uh, indoctrinated about pooping nasty no no, caca. They're, they're just starting to get that, and they're pretty free about farts. Did you ever notice your own farts smell okay? <laughs> Say. Say. My God, that's fairly decent. <laughs> God love you. The whole group of slang that surrounds farting, or not slang so much as idiom and certain phrases you hear, guy farts, it depends on Really, the company, you know, you'd rarely hear an audible fart, unless it's like only two people or six really gross people, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, we used to be playing cards, you know, that was when the eight or nine guys around playing blackjack. Dollar, dollar and a half, dollar, no double, two dollars, no double, no double, man, two dollars. Dollar, half a dollar, hey. Oh, let go! Hey, freely, if you're sick, go to the hospital, man. Can guy. Man, something died inside. It's not the smell, man. It's the burning of my eyes. Remember that one? <laughs> that was always, to me, the best one, boy. That was really terrible. <laughs> That's the way it is. With, you can spread them out a party. You can walk through several rooms <laughs> on a con what we call your controlled emission. <laughs> right. That's right. short spurts, just like the jets on the, uh, the re retro rockets. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> little, little, little. A guy told me a list of kind of farts once. He said there was the fizz, the fizz, no, the fizz, the faz, the fizz, faz, the rip shit, the tear ass. The snorter and the one that goes woo. I'm only recording, you know, kind of like things from, they're not in context. Farting on the elevator is an interesting experience. Uh, if there are only two people on the elevator, everybody knows who farted. There are only two attitudes when that happens. One of them is, uh, and the other one is mm -hmm. that guy usually gets off at the mezzanine and walks down which is nice it gives you a little time to light up a whole book of matches burn it off before you get to the lobby who wants all those people coming in thinking it's you stunk up the shaft yes the entire shaft is now involved so a high-speed elevator dissipates farts very quickly. I always think about those old cage elevators with the grinder wind-up start. If you could fart on the third floor and leave it there, you know? <laughs> you might sneak away from it if it was paying attention to something else. Farts are... Like, if, sometimes you have the farts, and they're really vicious. And people's loved ones are in danger, you know? 
Because the qualities, as I say, one of the qualities, one of the properties of a fart, which you can only guess, is it's... Oh, let's call it the density. <laughs> and then there is the persistence. Does it remain long time? Like mustard gas. A broccoli fart. Persistent. Some people's houses don't fall down the last three inches of farts down to the rug. <laughs> farts are being lost. Many farts are lost in foam cushions. <laughs> Hopelessly gone. Years ago, an upholstery, a fart would find its way out. Now, forever entombed. Oh, well, you gotta get a sledgehammer to get one out of there, man. <laughs> By then, it's a blend anyway.